Hello everyone. So in this question, we are asked that if we are given a function and it is defined at two points and what are those two points? Three and five. Okay. And the function value at these points is eight and at point five, it is 12. Okay. So the question says, is it sufficient to find the roots using the bisection method using these two function values or this information. So I will start the timer and you can pause the video and you can find the answer first by yourself. So the correct answer for this question is option B. That means no, we cannot find the root using the bisection method using these points. Okay. So actually here you can see both these function value f of 3 and f of 5 both are these positive values right so as we have seen in the previous video that bisection method works on the intermediate value theorem so intermediate value theorem says if we have function fx and we have two points a and b such that the function value at these two points f of a and f of b both these function values are of opposite sign then there will be a point between this a and b where this function will be crossing this x axis and that point will be called as root okay so the main condition is f of a and f of b should be of opposite sign but here you can see if we consider this as a and this 5 as b so here the function value f of a and f of b both are of positive sign that means they are of same sign so it means let's say we have this as 3 value and this has 5 value okay so f of 3 will be this value right and f of 5 will be this value right so between this 3 and 5 this function is not crossing this x axis that means there cannot be any root between 3 and 5 range okay so what we want we want one positive function value and one negative function value then only we can proceed with the bisection method okay so that's why the answer was no we have to find one function value which is of opposite sign other than the positive answer we want one function value which is of negative sign also to proceed with the bisection method so i hope you have understood the solution so let's move to the next question